Hello everyone, this is Sam from Prism Scroll here with a tutorial video for the app and the new extension and add-on that we have where we're making the app and all of your characters compatible with Avery. So Avery, what's that? So Avery is a Discord bot that integrates with Discord so that you can import your character information and then do roles. So for example, you can see here that this person did like a crazy role or something and then it auto calculates it for you so that let's say you're playing online because that's kind of how a decent amount of games are played now. You play with your friends online. You can quickly roll all this information and have your character right there rather than, I mean, Prism Scroll, you already have your mobile app, you'd be able to do it, but then everybody else would be able to see it as well. So that's why it's a, a pretty good and useful tool. And it does a lot more things than just rolling dice. It can roll attacks and add it all up for you and keep tra track of your spell slots and things like that. So it's a, I think it's a good addition to the app. So we're gonna go through how you can do that um, and where to you know, go through all the steps on how to integrate your characters from Prism Scroll into the Discord Avery bot. So for starters, you need to get the, so how Prism Scroll uh, integrates with Avery is you have to get the Google Sheets document. So to get that document, you need to go to our Discord, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, you can find an invite link in the settings of your app. So you can get to the settings by pressing the top left button in the character menu and settings is the first button there and there is a list of all of our social media make sure to check that out if you haven't already for updates and stuff um, you can press the discord button which is kind of light blue and then it will send you a invite to our channel so once you are in the channel um, we have a couple of different uh, couple of different channels so where you need to go is you need to go to announcements and then in the pinned messages, which you can, if you press the top, um, if you press the announcements title, it will open this window and you can press pins, which is at the top there. And then you're going to want to find um, the, uh, the Avery Google Doc. So then you'll want to press that and make a copy of that to your own Google Drive. So once you do that, um, we'll show what happens when you open it. So in Google Drive, let's say you're doing this all on your phone. I'm going to show you how to do it all completely on your phone. So you'll open up the, the Prism Scroll uh, Avery doc, uh, Google Sheets document, which looks exactly like the sheet. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy and paste information from your app into the, the Google Sheet. So first, we need to go get the information from the app. So First, you head over to the app, um, and whatever character you want to import into Avery, you press the three dot button that is on the right. So I'll use my main character, River, and you'll see at the bottom there is an Avery extension button. So if you press that, it's going to give you two options, where one, it's going to give you a link to this video, um, but you're already walking, you're already here. So what you're going to want to do is press the copy button which is gonna automatically copy all the information you need to your clipboard. So you don't need to do anything else. This is just a readout of everything that appears. Um, so once you have that copied, you wanna go back to your Google Sheet and you wanna paste it into the Prism Scroll Sheet tab. So you'll see at the bottom here in Google Sheets, you can switch what tab you're on. You wanna scroll all the way to the right and then you'll see the Prism Scroll tab. Um, so every uh, how it works is it it's indexed by sheets so that means that the what that means in uh, understandable speech is you have to make sure the pages are in order so that's why the prism scroll sheet has to be at the back or I would have you know put it at the front so that everybody would know where it at but so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to paste what you copied to your clipboard in B2 so basically, if you press the cell, do not edit it. Do not uh, put the cursor inside and edit it, because then it won't uh, populate all the cells all the way down. So make sure you're not um, make sure you're not editing that. Just press the cell and then wait like a second and then press it again so you can get the options. And then you want to paste. So you'll see that it pasted everything because it's all returned down so that it fills in everything. 
So now all of your character information, your spells, um, your equipment, and your general stats are in and ready for you to import into Avery. So um, before we actually import the sheet into uh, the Avery bot, um, there are a couple things that you're going to have to watch out for, and I think this will get a little bit better, but uh, this is just a, a general rule of thumb to look over your information. Avery and Prism Scroll name things a little bit differently, and plus we offer the ability to create more things than uh, Avery might have. So it's going to possibly name things different. So what you're going to need to do is adjust your inputs so that it's not causing errors in the sheet. So for example, you can see here that there's red. So if you look through the sheet and you see red, that's not a good thing and it's probably going to have a hard time importing. So um, you know, for example, we had somebody made a custom Dragonborn race. So that is not already in here because you made it custom. So you're going to have to add that manually. But um, if you use most of the standard stuff that is available, even stuff that's outside of the system reference document, um, you're gonna be, that's going to actually work because Avery is made by D&D Beyond. So they have access to all that information. So you'll be able to, as long as your um, name is uh, formatted correctly, which they have as sub race race or just race if it's just that. Um, some things to look for, for example, for us, um, like Hildorf how it would appear in the app it would be Hildorf Dorf so that's going to appear wrong in here and you're going to have to adjust it to Hildorf instead of what imports so it's just things to look out for for um, classes and race so you'll see here if the red goes away that means you fixed it so I uh, edit it Make sure you edit the input over here in the prism scroll sheet not the actual um, uh, Avery interface page because then it will mess up the links to the prism scroll sheet and you won't be able to keep copy and pasting because uh, it won't have that link anymore and you'll have to re-download the, the Google sheet again. So um, the next thing you have to watch out for is um, stats. So Avery and um, D&D Beyond calculate stats a little bit differently than us. So I uh, a prism scroll exports what we have so basically it's your base let's see here you you have your base and then you have your bonus so they automatically calculate some things in the sheet based off your race and you know etc that other things that affect your stats um, so you're gonna have to kind of look at your stats in the app and then look at the stats what they end up being in the sheet and then adjust accordingly. So I would just use the mod value to you know go up or down to make sure that you're at the right totals. So that's just something to look for. Um, if you have any custom weapons, so anything outside of the standard, you know, battle axe, long sword, short sword, that will cause problems. So it it looks at it by name. So if it's not a standard weapon, it's going to give you an error, like it's going to show that red again, and you're going to have to change that or modify that. Um, there, there are instructions on how to input that information on the, in the different tabs, and there, there's pretty good uh, comments here. You can see the, the black uh, triangle in the top right. It will give you sort of a little bit of idea on what's wrong and how to fix it. So use those to your advantage and try to fix that. Um, the next thing here is experience. So Prism Scroll doesn't, um, so some people use don't use experience, some people use milestone. So we don't enforce that experience rule. So when you import, um, Avery does pay attention to that, that experience value. So you might have to modify that value so that you're correct and within limits of you know your total level from your classes and subclasses and then your experience or it will get mad at you and not want to import. So that's another thing to look out for. Um, another thing that Avery kind of gets mad at is if you are a multi-classed caster. So for example, my character is a Warlock Eldritch Knight. So it doesn't like that and it gets frustrated. So what it says in the instructions is that it will have the right spell slots. So for example, you can see here that I have five first level spells. It will have the right spell slots, 
but it doesn't um, populate any of your, uh, it won't populate any of the uh, spellcasting constants. So that's something that you'll have to kind of pay attention to and watch out for. In Prism Scroll, when something is empty, um, there is a special invisible number that I use to signify that something is empty and nothing's actually there. So you can see that by, um, it's negative 32,000 something, something, something. So I would just watch out for that. Um, you're, you'll probably see it in like currency. Currency is a big offender. Um, so if you see a weird negative 32,000, that means it's empty in Prism Scroll and I'll fix this in an update so that it watches out for that and just makes it zero. Um, but for the moment, if you see the negative 32,000, just change it to zero or change it to the appropriate value. Now that we have all the information in the Google Sheet, we're almost ready to import it into the Discord bot. The last step we need to do before we leave the Google Sheet is to share it with the Avery bot kind of server. So what you need to do is you can see in the top right of Google Sheets on your phone is the share button, which is the third one from the right. So if you press that, um, you'll have to share it with a, an address. Um, you can find it in the uh, announcements channel of the prism scroll uh, discord or you can find it in the description of this video as well so basically just put um, add them to the share file you can kind of see it here it's just an avery kind of bot link and then you're ready to import into discord so now we'll just head over to discord and what you need to do is you need to post uh you need to do a command so basically the same thing as the batch command it's exclamation point g sheet i think g sheet yep so that is the import command so basically you do g sheet and then the google drive link so to get the google drive link you go into the top right and it will open up the menu options and then you can do share and export and then you want to um, copy link which is the third option so once you have that you go back to discord and paste that link next to the command and then press enter and then if you have a character already it will ask you if you want to update it or not and you would press yes or it would just uh, uh, if you don't have a character it would just import it and let you know if you have any errors so now my character is in here. So I can do things uh, uh, like roll dice and um, you know attack with weapons that I have. And there's a full cheat sheet of commands inside of the Avery documentation, which I'll include in this, uh, this video description. So you can check that out or somebody else can help you. There's a lot of people that are very familiar in the Prism Scroll channel, or you could visit the Avery channel if you need any help with more advanced things. So that is how Prism Scroll is becoming compatible with Avery and Discord. So hopefully this was useful. Um, let me know if you run into any issues on the Discord channel. Like I said, there's a lot of people that can be there to help and we're always trying to improve and make sure that we're creating a seamless ish um, experience you know when you're connecting to a different platform so all right hopefully this was helpful i'll see you guys later